Not it's good to see you. That's Mary Lou and Tom Jones. Hello. Hello. Yeah. This is Bill Wilson. He's a photographer for the San Francisco Sun. I'm not listening to Luke anymore. Exactly. He says things like that. The about same time. He's bragging he's about you. You've done some great shots, he's buddy. Some great shots. I watch everything Everybody you shoot. Yeah, oh. We all watch everything, believe me. Okay. I, I, I don't care about political differences or bullshit like that and all that stuff, but, but <laughs> I, I watch every bit of work in San Francisco. Well, now see. Yours is among the worst. He's the best. Yeah, you're, uh, good. Uh, you're very good. Okay. You're very good. Now, now we're back to normal again. No, thank you. <laughs> but you're wearing your orange today. I wore my orange yesterday and, and take full credit for them winning on a run that should have been Friday was orange. Oh, okay. Are you wearing yeah. orange underwear? Or no. orange socks? There's <laughs> nothing orange on me today. I did take full responsibility what, what time for is yesterday. But, uh, what time is it? 6.15 will be. Yeah. Again, the actual first ball is not going to be thrown until 6.37. I know, I know. But are they going to have a flyby this tonight? Uh, this is a question. I don't Probably. know. I shut, I shut my windows for so my uh, cat like they were going to. You know? <laughs> she freaks. She's okay. And then when it gets really intense, that it gets... I'm like, there's no different body. I'm tired of it. I'm sitting in the back. I, I live out near some college. I hear this rumble. And about, after about six seconds of the rumble, I was like, oh my god, this is what the earthquake sounds like. This is the freight train that people describe before the before it hits. So I go literally running out my back door in time to see... How long ago is this? 97. The Blue Angels, and I swear... This Bill Wilson talking about his first experience with the Blue Angels when he hit San Francisco. <laughs> I'm H. Brown, this is Tony Dorenz on Spot Talk TV, and we're on the H. Brown Hour. We're grabbing a, a photographer and a stalwart of the San Francisco Sentinel, uh, uh, Bill Wilson here. Uh, we got Tony uh, Dorenzo on uh, camera and producing the thing, and we have, uh, as always, thanking God, uh, Luke Thomas taking uh, uh, award-winning photos of it. Uh, but tell us more. The Blue Angels arrived. Okay. What happened? So I go out my back door. I'm looking at Mount Davidson, and I swear, although people will deny this, that the Blue Angel plane was actually between the top of the mountain and where I was. But they deny that. I do know that the whole ground shook. And I got really, you know, I mean, I, I, I did at first think it was an earthquake. So, but then I'm like, oh, you know, they've got to practice, you know, they, they, they're pilots who need to obviously stay on their edge. So, did I'm you like, know this is the only city that they visit that they practice over the city? Okay, but, 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 but then at 5 o'clock I turn on my TV and there is Cheryl Jennings on Channel 7 talking about the thrill of the lifetime. She saw San Francisco as very few people have seen it, which is on a bomb run. On, on the Blue Angel. <laughs> on a bomb run. And I'm like, she was, she was damn, I'm like, damn, it's not even practice. It was a PR stunt. And they scared, you know, I mean, like I say, everybody in our neighborhood, which is near City they College, took up they, they, they should. Yeah, yeah, I mean, and then it's like, yeah, yeah it, was, it was a media stunt. So it's like, okay, one person was thrilled. Thousands of people were scared shitless. Oh, well, I'm allowed to say that on TV. Of course, of course you are. I'm not talking to you that. So, uh, what does it make you feel like? I mean, America's a good one. I, 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 I honestly, that, that, that's not, and, and maybe that's something I should think about, but that's, that's not what I think about because I have the Blue Angels ever seen more. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, they're all better. They're all better. Bill, let me get something straight to you. I'm a Navy veteran. I love the Blue Angels. But they don't have to fly over the city. They oh. need to fly over the water. And, uh, 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 and I, I was uh, stationed for a while on the USS Enterprise at that time in the 60s. It was the biggest uh, ship ever mm -hmm. built and all that. It's still in commission, which says something almost 50 years later. But I like the Angels, but they shouldn't fly over the city. They don't fly over the city in any other municipal area. And, and I, since they have a crash about every three years, it's prudent of them not to practice over the city. But they do that, I'm convinced, because they want to harass San Francisco citizens because Diane Feinstein told them to because we wouldn't hold court to Missouri. Now, I voted for that way back when, uh, but I was opposed to the Iowa because the Iowa was the most anti-gay thing ever. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? Yes, that, I yes, fought against the Iowa, the, but, but she sends the Blue Angels back dead. every year to cruise above our things, and yes, you're exactly right, they do come down in between the peaks.
I mean, they do well, bombing. They do bombing runs over our city, and they do it because they're right wing asshole Republican, whatever the fuck, and all this. And yes, I guess. Can I say that on this show? Of course. I guess I can. I guess I can. But wait a second. Wait a second. I have to tell you that in '98 and whenever, however long they've been since, they've never been as close to us. And and and, and, yeah, and yeah. I maybe um, somebody. You mean this year? No, I mean in, in any in any in any year since this year they're doing they've something. Not, hey, man, no man, come here. They've not. They've not. They've we, we out near City College. Now I understand that there's lots of other places in the city where they still fly and, and they're still shaking windows, but in, in our area they haven't. And I don't know whether that's.